Alright, in this video we're going to talk about finding coterminal angles. And all coterminal angles, uh, the way I kind of think about them, uh, a very not technical definition, uh, to me coterminal angles are angles that are going to put you at the same place. Um, so that's my very informal definition. So what do we mean by this? Well, again, let's just uh, let's take a quick little example here. So here's x, here's y. Um, suppose we find the angle, say, uh, 45 degrees. That's going to be uh, kind of halfway through our first quadrant here. So this is 45 degrees. There are many angles uh, that would put us at the exact same spot. So remember the distance around this. Uh, uh, if we go all the way around, we've gone 360 degrees. So notice in this case, um, I could keep going. Suppose I go all the way around once, that would be 360 degrees. Well, if I go back to the same place, if I take 360 and add to that my 45 degrees, well, in that case, we'll get uh, 405 degrees. So 45 degrees and 405 degrees, we would say those are coterminal angles because you basically end up, you know, sort of at, 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 in the equivalent, the same spot. Um, likewise, we could add another 360. If we add another 360, we're going to get 765 degrees. 45 degrees, 405 degrees, 765 degrees, those are all co coterminal. We could have actually gone, you know, they don't have to be positive angles either. We could have uh, went, went clockwise, and then we would have had a negative angle. So if we go uh, sort of the opposite direction, let's see, if we take, uh, uh, so if we went all the way around sort of uh, backwards, that would be negative 360 degrees, but then we would have to subtract 45 degrees. So if we take 45 and subtract 360 degrees, that's going to give us negative 315 degrees. That would be another angle that's coterminal with 45 degrees. All four of these angles are coterminal. They all basically, again, will put you at this same, uh, the same spot. So this is the basic idea uh, to find coterminal angles. So they basically, one way to find them is to just simply look at their difference and see if they're a multiple of 360. Okay, so that's kind of the, uh, the, 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 the main idea. So take the difference and ask yourself, uh, is that number a multiple, you know, positive or negative, of 360 degrees? Okay, so that's the main idea here. That's how we're actually going to start checking and uh, trying to determine if two angles are in fact coterminal. All right, so let's take a, a, a few examples here. So suppose we want to know, in our first case, which of the following angles is coterminal with the angle of 135 degrees? Um, it doesn't really matter the order in which you subtract them, so maybe let's check 185 degrees first. Um, I'm going to take the bigger angle, which is 185, and subtract away the smaller one, the one we're trying to uh, determine, uh, the one we're working with, our 135 degrees. So 185 minus 135, that's going to give me um, 50 degrees. And I think, well, is 50 degrees a multiple of 360? And definitely it's not. So those are certainly not going to be coterminal. And again, you can kind of see that. I made a quick little sketch here. Here's uh, 135 degrees. Um, 185 would be somewhere, you know, a little bit further down. So definitely those don't put you in the same spot at all. Uh, so it's kind of easy to see here with a little diagram. These are definitely not coterminal. But same idea, so let's see, we can check 495, whoops, uh, 495 minus 135. Well, 495 minus 135, that actually gives us 360 degrees, and well, certainly that's a multiple of 360. So 495, uh, 495 degrees is definitely going to be coterminal with the angle measuring 135 degrees. Uh, let's check our, our, our um, negative 30 degrees next. So let's see, if we take negative 30 degrees and subtract away 135 degrees, 
In this case, we're simply going to get negative 165 degrees. And again, that's not a multiple of 360. So 30 degrees, negative 30 degrees is not coterminal. 185 degrees is not coterminal. The only coterminal angle uh, of the three I had listed is 495. Again, there's infinitely many angles that are coterminal with 135 degrees, but that's the only one we had listed here. Let's do one more. Um, suppose we have negative 255 degrees, and we want to figure out of 105 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees, which one of these is coterminal? Well, again, let's see. So let's we can check 105. So if we take 105 degrees and subtract away negative 255 degrees, well, since we're subtracting a negative, that's going to make a positive. 105 degrees plus 255 degrees, that's going to give us 360 degrees. Again, certainly that's a multiple of 360. So 105 degrees is going to be uh, an angle that's coterminal with negative 255. Uh, let's check 45 degrees. So if we do 45 degrees minus uh, our negative 255, again, that's just going to make it positive, just like in the last example. Well, 45 degrees plus uh, 255 degrees is going to give us 300 degrees. Well, again, that's not a multiple of 360. So 45 degrees is not coterminal. Likewise, if we check our 90 degrees, 90 degrees minus negative 255 degrees, that's going to give us 345 degrees. And again, that's simply not a multiple of 360. So 90 degrees is also not coterminal with the angle negative 255 degrees. So again, this is basically all you're doing. Uh, mechanically, you just subtract them, see if it's a multiple of 360. Um, but again, intuitively, all you're really trying to do is just figure out, you know, sort of what angles put you, uh, you know, sort of in the same direction at the same spot.